Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Programming is Fun. Today we are discuss how to split workbook from the raw data on behalf of column criteria. So this is the split workbook template where we have a split workbook and view data button. And this is the path where we have saved all splitted workbook into the specific location. So this is the raw data where we have seven columns. And this is the column, the branch. So according to branch, we need to split all the workbook. So if you do it manually, then you need to apply a filter and then select a first branch. After this selection branch, you need to select all visible cells and copy and paste it into the new workbook. After the pasting, you need to save this workbook into the your specific location and after the after the saving you need to go to the second branch and select a branch so then once again you will do same process until all the branch need to be finished so friend this is the very time consuming process so we should remove the entire manual process by using this tool so as of now we are writing a code for the split workbook so now i am closing our split raw data and go to the uh, alt f11 one so this is the vb editor now i am setting a module the module name split workbook now i am declaring a procedure serve a split workbook tool so friends now i am designing this tool with the help of file system object so before uh, discuss about fso first of all we need to uh, add of Microsoft Script Runtime Library. With the help of Microsoft Script Runtime Library, we can access the property of FSO. So we need to go to the all TR Microsoft Script Runtime. Fine. So now I'm declaring a FSO. So dim FSO as file system object. Now I'm declaring a path and save path file as a string and then split workbook tool and raw data and also declare a add workbook as workbook so i am declare a workbook so set as wkb to workbook split workbook to so and also declare object so dim select file as object so set select file application dot file dialog and also file dialog file picker select file dot title please select the raw data file so after this selection uh, we need to declare a file dialog picker. So application dot file dialog and so file dialog picker dot show. After the showing, we need to uh, select a file and save that file address into the path. So application dot file dialog and so file file picker dot select items 
now workbooks dot open and we are open the path so path after the path we need to declare a raw data so set raw data go to active workbook if my active workbook has already filtered so we need to remove filter so active sheet dot auto filter mode equal to false filter mode false fine so now i am run so please select the raw data file so open to sheet dot auto filter for hmm, false fine now we need to select entire branch and paste it into the workbook split workbook tool after the pasting we need to uh, remove all the branches name so first of all we need to a uh, copy so so, uh, so raw data dot activate so So raw so range B1 B and cells rows dot count and Excel up dot row dot copy and paste it into the split workbook tool. So first of all we need to activate activate then range v1 dot paste special excel paste values and after that we need to remove a duplicate v1 dot current reason dot remove duplicates where is the column one and criteria should be no criteria is the header it's excel yes fine so after the remove duplicate we need to count how many branch so dim loop counter and total large as integer so Total branch branch so define total branch range v1 dot current region dot rows dot count after that we declare a loop loop so for loop counter should be start from 2 and goes to total branch so we need to uh, declare a loop so after that we need to here activate so raw data dot activate after the activating we need to declare a loop so loop range b1 dot auto filter and there's a field two area one should be start from as wkb dot range v we need to declare seats range what is it shambri dot range v and loop counter dot value 
after the filter we need to select all visible cells so range even dot current region and special cells excel cell type visible dot copy after that copy we need to uh, add separate workbook so add new workbook so set so we have already declared above add workbook so add workbook workbooks dot add fine so add wkb dot seats seat one dot range a1 dot paste special excel paste values after that we also declare a format range a1 dot paste special cell type cell paste format and now we are now we have saved the file so add wkb dot save as the path is a save path fine so save path will be we have and save path here so as the blue save path as the blue tool dot seeds the shambri dot range f3 dot value here yeah, fine so this is the save path shape path and as the wkb tool dot see the save path the tool dot seeds see this is summary dot range the v and loop counter dot value fine so we can write add wkb dot close save changes the false and next i after all the branch split it and save into the specific location we need to close our raw data file so raw data dot close and save changes equal to false and range v1 so you can write as wkb dot seeds is the summary and v so we need to clear all the branch so range v1 dot current reason dot clear fine and you can write range a1 dot select now put a message so message box there are total number of branches minus one and workbook 
has been success successfully split it vba information split it status fine so i'm closing and now i'm going to press f8 so so it is a rose sorry it is the next not next i so so we need please select the raw data file so click on the split raw data and workbook.open.path so we have already open raw data files after that we need to active workbook as said as raw data so if the seat has already filtered we need to remove filter raw data activate we need to copy as activate now we are pasting after that we are removing the remove duplicates and now i'm counting total number of branch the total number of branch is nine after that raw data activate we are declaring our loop the auto filter the visible cells copy workbook dot add and paste and format fine and we are also save this workbook we have replace so we can write here application dot display alerts equal to false fine so go to the next okay so this close next once again filter is the value is 2 copy workbook dot add paste format paste and to save and close next copy add paste format paste and goes to next fine So now I am clear all the branches and range even dot select and here masses there are our eight workbook has been successfully splitted so this is the split status so after that we are call this a procedure into this split workbook button so go to the developer and go to the design mode so we need to call a split workbook and we have declared a view data so we have declared a dim path as a string and we have already saved active workbook dot seed summary range f3 dot value and now we are declaring a hyperlink so hyperlink is this workbook dot follow hyperlink dot path fine so we are remove designing mode so once again i am run so click on the split workbook tool and please select the raw data file goes to open so it will take a couple of seconds so, so see there are eight workbook has been successfully splitted now you can click on view data and you will see all the split workbook so friends so this so now i am ending this video video tutorial so please watch this video and share uh, this video with your friends and co colleagues and, and subscribe my channel thank you